Good morning guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. I'm just getting set up for another worm test here. We don't have ice cream, we have orange peel and a whole bucket of it. Uh, so my daughter works at a cafe and they cut up a lot of oranges and perfect chance to run some extreme citrus test on my worms. Now I did a video on lemons quite a while back, a very successful test. Uh, this time we'll do orange and it's just the peel. I'm not sure what they actually use the orange for. These have been sitting in the tub for a few days. So I'm going to run them through my electric garden mulcher here. We'll make a bit of a pulp and we'll put them into a garden bed and give them a test. There we go. The whole bucket's mulched up. I like to do fairly large quantities and make it, you know, a bit of an extreme test because then it does show, um, you know, the, if there's any dangers or if the worms really don't like the stuff. Large quantities, of course, will heat up. And remember that I do all my tests in an outside garden bed. I would never endorse putting large quantities of anything in a small indoor worm bin because the worms just can't get away. Now this bed's a good spot to do a test. I haven't, uh, I have done a few tests here recently, but there's very few worms here. Even the last test I did on uh, actually some mouldy jellied beetroot, they ate it all, but there wasn't a huge quantity of food. There's a worm there just lazing across the top. And we didn't get a huge population, but they did come in and eat it. So I'm gonna spread this bucket out, cover this entire bed. It possibly will heat up a bit because it's a fair quantity and um, we'll check it in a week. I'd expect it to go mouldy first and the worms won't come in for a little while. But it'll be a good test to do. Okay, there's a fair dose of orange peel. It smells, um, smells like some sort of natural cleaning solution. Uh, we'll sprinkle a little bit of water on there. We'll put the mat on. It's supposed to be fairly warm this weekend. Um, I think tomorrow is going to be pushing up towards uh, the high 30s Celsius, which is not far off 100 Fahrenheit. In fact, I think 38 is um, just over 100. So it's starting to warm up here. We're still in early summer, so we're going to have a bit of a mixture of weather. I'll try and keep it damp and cool, and we'll check it regularly. Time for a check on these orange peels. Um, it's been 10 days. I haven't worried. Uh, I didn't think the worms would get into it pretty that quickly uh, because I thought it might have heated up a bit now okay it hasn't really gone moldy but it's certainly decaying no longer smells like nice orange juice okay it's quite thick here it doesn't seem to be any signs of worms underneath but because it was so thick I reckon it would have generated a bit of heat and I'm sure the worms are going to wait for a while until the conditions are right for them to move in. Can't see any there at the moment. Now there was no worms in this bed at the start, so it's going to have to be tasty enough to attract them back in. So there's a little bit of mold there, and this section's gone very gluggy. But I won't churn it all over, but yeah, we can't see any worms underneath. So this was always going to be a little bit of a longer experiment, this one. So we'll leave it another week and we'll check it in then. Okay, it's been a further two weeks since we last checked this orange peel uh, worm test experiment. So let's see if anything's going on. Okay, it's decomposed further down. There's no obvious signs of any worms at this stage. We'll have a scratch in a minute. Ah, now there is some activity which we don't want to see now I'm not sure if we can focus here but I pointed one of these little guys out on a recent video and it was mentioned to me that they're um, called flatworms these are quite tiny little ones but they're not good to see in your worm farm apparently they prey on worms and uh, they're pretty hard to get rid of because I believe they multiply by fragmentation. So if you try and pick them up and get them out and you actually 
cut them up or break them and they kind of break pretty easily then each part becomes a new worm which um, isn't good at all there we go so we're going to get these out of here but that may be a reason why we're not seeing many earthworms here not totally sure let's have a scratch underneath uh, yeah well it was a very thick hang on I'll zoom back out it was a very thick layer of orange peel which was an extreme dose and I mentioned it may have heated up but it kept the worms out but I think the fact that it's so concentrated and being the citrus there was probably a bit of citric acid so it looks like it's not a good idea to put a larger quantity of this in your worm farm uh, we'll keep monitoring monitoring it because I think the worms will come in eventually as long as those little flat worms don't multiply and eat them all uh, now I was also reading with orange peel it probably didn't go multi because these would have been commercially bought oranges and I think they're treated with a a uh, antifungal wax coating and because this was just all the peel that would have stopped any fungus happening yeah well, there's no worms underneath there's still quite a thick layer it's definitely breaking down and there's lots of other little bugs around they've kind of disappeared now but you know nature's recyclers are getting into it just not the worms at this stage so interesting experiment we'll leave it go uh, a bit longer again it will gradually disappear and it'll be interesting to see if the worms do finally come into it but at this stage it looks like it's a bit of a negative for putting in your worm farm uh, orange peel would probably be fine in your compost uh, but then again as, as i said this is an extreme test we put a large quantity in here so i'll cover it back over and we'll check it again in perhaps a couple of weeks and see what's going on then okay another two weeks has gone let's see what's going on with this orange peel now and ah yes the worms have come in at last now are there any flat worms oh yeah look there's tiny ones there you go there's tiny ones but there's still some of those around so they must be breeding up but i did see lots of worms tails just disappear quickly as i moved the carpet back so that's good conditions must be right there's one right there Conditions must be right for them finally to come in. Oh, big fat one there. And there's lots of springtails now. We didn't see springtails last time. So it's taken a while for the orange peel to get to a stage where the worms are interested. There's probably still a fair bit more decaying to do, but there are worms here now, which is great. Oh yeah, look at that under there. So as usual, they're coming up from underneath. And once the food source has been transformed into something they like to eat via whatever bacteria are involved, they will break, so things will break down and the worms will get involved. So that's a good sign. I'm going to keep this experiment going long, another couple of weeks perhaps, just to see if this quantity of orange peel does disappear. Um, and hopefully there's not too many flatworms coming, coming, but... Well, I'm pleased to see the worms here finally. They took their time, but they got here. So that's good. We'll check it in another two weeks and we'll just finalise this video. But I do think I might need to do another... I might do a comparison test. If I can get hold of some oranges from someone's local garden and I'll do a comparison on that orange peel or maybe complete oranges and some purchased ones that may have that antifungal wax and just see what the difference is. But at this stage, it looks like the worms will eat the orange peel. It just takes quite a while for them to break down enough. But we'll do one more check before we finish up. And now the final check on this orange peel experiment. It's been a further two weeks, which takes it to a total of about seven weeks, so almost two months. And what have we got going on? It looks like... Oh, look at that. There's some worms over there. Looks like they've handled most of it. They've finally come in and cleaned it all up. I can't see any signs of flatworms, which is good. And if we have a scrape around here where it seems to be the thickest, 
Still a bit of orange peel there, but look at those beautiful big worms. So it worked. They came in to eat it. It's mostly gone, I think, back through here. There's actually not much orange peel left. It's pretty well into the soil, although I did churn it over in a few of these spots. But yeah, it's, um, oh, there's even plant roots coming through here. So successful experiment. Eventually, we got rid of the whole bucket full of orange peel. And there's plenty of healthy worms in there which is great so that's really good because i can dig this spot over now i've got another experiment planned for this spot and we can tick off that orange peel is okay however large quantities are going to present a problem it will take a while for them to get in uh, i certainly wouldn't put large quantities in an indoor bin as i've said before uh, but I would say orange peel is perfectly fine for your compost and in smaller quantities It's going to be fine in a reasonable size worm farm You don't you're not going to put an entire bucket in like I did uh, We will investigate in a further video Whether the antifungal wax on the peel of these commercial oranges made a difference It's quite possible that without that there might have been a good crop of mold and the worms may have come in earlier yeah, it's all gone from this end, which is great. So, yeah, all right. We'll tick this uh, off the list. And um, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed that one. It went for a bit longer this time. But I've got lots more worm tests lined up. And I've been cleaning up a bit area in my yard here. And I'm going to start a few extra worm test areas. I've got a spot here that I'll put some bricks around. And I've been watering this. This is the natural soil in this yard. It's clay underneath. And... Uh, that's been untouched by, well, pretty well everything. I had a pellet over this spot, so there was no plant growth, no worm food, nothing. So I'll be doing a test there uh, as a comparison with this well-used bed. And I've got another bay over there and another bay here for some tests coming up very soon. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.